Hello friends, have you ever noticed there is a number mentioned on every plastic article that we use in our daily to daily life? So let's see what these number represents and how safe are these plastics to use. Every plastic article has a number on it ranging from 1 to 7 within a triangle. Under ASTM International Resin Identification Coding System, number on plastics are Resin Identification Code or RIC. It is used to identify with what type of resin is plastic article made up of. RIC uses arrow that cycles clockwise to form triangle which also forms universal recycling symbol. This doesn't mean that plastic article having RIC on it is recyclable. RIC on a any plastic is not an indicator of recyclability. To remove this confusion, chasing arrow triangles is changed to solid triangle. So now all the RICs have solid triangle. But mostly you will see right now uh, the uh, chasing arrows as it has been changed recently but in the future we can see the solid triangle number inside a solid triangle so let's let's discuss briefly about all these plastics number one it is PETE or PET it is polyethylene terephthalate which is hard tough and clear plastic having good gas and moisture barrier properties this is used for making water bottles, soda bottles, alcohol bottles, medical jars, fiber for clothing and carpets, strapping, peanut butter jars when these bottle is longer exposed to sunlight, higher temperature or even longer storage. It may leach antimony into the material stored. Antimony is a carcinogenic material which can be harmful to humans. So for food and beverage application, it is suggested that pet, pet should be used for one time only and it should not be used and should be kept away from higher temperature. Otherwise, it is safe, relatively safe plastic if it is used only single, single time. Next two is HDPE is high density polyethylene has an excellent moisture barrier and chemical resistance property it is permeable to gas and is hard to semi flexible material. HDPE is used to make container for milk, motor oil, shampoos, detergents, toys, rigid pipes, non carbonated drink bottles etc. HDPE has been found to release estrogenic chemicals in very harsh conditions which is a hormonal disruptor to humankind. But it is a relatively safe plastic to use as compared to one that is PET uh, if it is not used in very harsh conditions. Third is PVC. PVC is polyvinyl chloride. It can be rigid or flexible, has good chemical resistance and excellent transparency. PVC is used to make pipes, plumbing fittings, shrink films, blister packs, medicines, for medicines, windows and door frames, wire and cable seedings, etc. It leaches variety of chemicals like bisphenol A, phthalates, lead, mercury, which are neurotoxins, carcinogenic material, and it is a it can cause a great damage to humankind. So PVC should be avoided at all cost in food application. Next, four four is LDPE is Low density polyethylene has a good moisture resistance, is flexible with good transparency. It is commonly found in shopping bags, bubble wrap, squeezable bottles, food wraps, bread bags, garbage bags, irrigation pipes. LDPE has been found to release estrogenic chemicals in very harsh conditions. It is as same as HDP. So it is also a relatively safest plastic to use as compared to PET and PVC. Next is PP. PP is polypropylene. It has a good resistance to heat, chemical and moisture and is strong and hard but it is flexible. PP is used to make food containers, medical containers, straws, bottle caps, baby bottles, disposable diapers, numerous car parts, kitchen wares and microwaveable plastic containers and lids. It is one of the safest plastic to use. It is the most safest plastic to use in food application. So in food application, we can use 2, 4 and 5. 1, it can be used but with safe conditions. Next is 6. 6 is PS. PS is polystyrene commonly known as styrofoam is rigid or formed clear petal. PS, most commonly we use PS as thermocol. PS is used to make compact disc cases. Egg cartons, milk, meat trays, disposable plates and cups. PS can leach styrene which is human carcinogenic and it 
its leaching is increased when the temperature when the food is hot and oily so ps should be avoided in food applications last one is seven all these six plastics other all the plastics other than all these six plastics comes under seven most common plastics which we use are polycarbonate polyamide polyactide sn abs bakelite pu all these plastics they have they have classified under seven number these type of plastics they have high chances of having hormone hormonal disruptors like epa so these plastics should be avoided for food application so in food application we can use 2 4 and 5 with 1 in safe conditions thank you